Hey, this is Storm from Bust Up Gaming. Ah, uh, we decided to play Black Ops 2 after getting our asses kicked in Black Ops 3 so much and kind of hacked all over. I want solid so, out there. we played on studio, and even though it was a loss, it was a very close one. And we only have one suspicious character on the whole thing. And yes, I do use Target Finder. I'm an old man. I can't see as good. So I use it, and at times I don't use it, as you'll see on my backup gun. Ah, the good old days. And being stupid, running into a Claymore, that always helps. And then what do you do? You just go back in and get some more. This is the part I tell you about being, sometimes I play stupid. He was waiting for me. But all in all, it was fun to play at least a halfway decent match without getting too much hacking done. And there wasn't no wall running, wasn't no jumping uh, in any of this. If you watch the video, you will see some several guys that may have played Black Ops 3 too much. And you'll see them trying to jump in the air and it didn't work. Like I said, all in all, it was fun to play and not get hacked. Hope you enjoy the video. Now we're coming to the end of our match here on Black Ops 2 Team Deathmatch at Studio. And it was fun to play it again, very much so. I know, damn target finder again, but it's in Black Ops 3 also, so... When the one site, you look down it and it does show up red. But I hope you enjoyed this look back at Black Ops 2 gameplay. And my results were, I would say, quite a bit better than what we had on Black Ops 3. But you also, you run into hackers on here. So... But if you get the right match and the right group of people that just want to play and you don't have to worry about wall running, triple jumping, floating through the air and all that, why, it's an enjoyable time. It's Storm from Bust Stuff Gaming. Hope you like and subscribe. As always, y'all have a great day.